All right, let's get started. So we're gonna adding a small uh, cube, shift A, adding a cube, and we're gonna go to the top view to look at this. So we are going to make it looks like a, a rectangular. Hit X key, hit S, and uh, to drag it up. And front view S Z, just gonna make it a little bit flatter. And then you realize that the scale is not all the way to one because I was editing the shapes while I was in the object mode. So if you're in the edit mode, that should be good, but it's very easy to fix. Control A to apply the scale. So now everything is, is good, okay? So basically next thing we're going to do some loop cuts to adding some geometries and then later on we can actually getting that curvatures uh, extruded out. And then go to the edit mode Control R to adding some loop cut. So just dragging it over here. So I think three loop cuts should be fine. And Control R to adding some more of these. So I think probably like this, it should be good. So five vertices. So what do we do is we're going to select all these faces. Hit number three to select faces and to select all that. Then what we can do here, we're gonna hit the E and Z to drag it out, okay? So that is all good. Okay, so cool. So next, what we're going to do is basically we're going to make a curve out of it. However, I realized that we have not enough vertices, so I'm probably gonna do a couple more. So Control Z to undo it. So I'm just going to adding some couple more loops rather than five. So let's do maybe seven. Yes, cool. So then let's go to the top one more time. Hit the number three to select all these faces, and then come back. Hit uh, E and Z to drag it out, okay, along the Z axis. Now, what I would do here, I'm just going to make this thing as a curve, just simply kind of like uh, drag this thing down. So because we're doing this, uh, is this symmetrical? So basically, I can do only one side. Hit the Tab key, go to the Edit mode, and I'm just going to Alt Z to select all these vertices on the right hand side. Hit X to delete vertices, and then adding a mirror modifier right here then we can just turn on the clipping. Now, if I'm doing one side, then the other side is working as well. So basically what we can do here, we can just simply uh, select this one, double G to kind of uh, slide all the way to here. And you can see that these two vertices are, are overlap on the top of each other. So that is all good. Uh, basically, I'm going to fix all the other things. I'm going to select these two vertices, just hit G and Z to drag it up. A tiny bit. This one I can hit G Z to drag it down. So basically, just very uh, small minor curve. Uh, we're trying to accomplish. Once we have a subsurface modifier, it's going to make it much smoother. G and Z. Now you can see we have a curve going on here. I know this is a triangle, but we will fix that real quick. Okay. So hit A to select everything, making sure. Remember, we have all these uh, vertices being uh, overlap on each other. Then I, we need to, you know, merge all these. Hit M key to merge, and then we go to the by distance. So by the default, this is very small numbers, and then you can see that it has removed three vertices. So basically, we don't have duplicated vertices in the same location. Now everything is good. Okay. So if we go back to the object mode, so we can see this is the shape that we want. Uh, to have, but however, we need to adding some bevels. Otherwise, if we apply a subsurface modifier, the shapes are gonna be destroyed. So let me show you. Control two. So this is too flat. So we want to make sure the sharp edges is being selected and being beveled. So we're gonna temporarily disable the subsurface modifier and select that. Hit Tab key. Go to the edit mode. And for this time, we can just go to the edge selection mode or hit number two, select sharp edges. So having this is a very smart way to kind of selecting the sharp edges using the blender. So these are the sharp edges automatically being detected because we have a 30 degree setup to look at this. So this looks perfect. So this is the exactly the bevel we want. And then we're gonna hit control B the bevel and just drag, doesn't really matter how much you drag, that's okay. But we just need to change the, the width. So we can do 0 0.002, 
and to do that. So that's not too much. And then the segment will usually do two and the shape because we were trying to maintain the original shape. So I can drag this one all the way to one. So we're going to have the sharp edge and then the uh, the middle outer making sure you've changed the sharp to arc. OK, so now you can see there are some differences between the sharp. You see that's merged to here and to the arc because we need to fix it. Uh, the topology uh, manually in order to have a better result. OK, so this is good. So I can just click it out and then go to the vertices selection mode. I can see the vertices a little bit better. So what I would do here, I'm just simply join these two hit J to connect them to fix that the ungong issue, right? Once I join these two, it's going to be a two quads. Otherwise, it's a big ungong. OK, so that is all uh, good. And anything else I need to fix? I don't think we need to do so. Uh, so let's go with the uh, subsurface modifier. Let's turn it on to see how things go. I think it looks really good. And right click, shape smooth. And this is the shape that we wanted to build. Of course, you if you go to the edit mode, you can definitely to do some justification. Hit G and Z to make it a little bit thinner. Uh, anything you can even actually change the shape of this shape GZ you can do that something cool right it's very very easy to uh, control the shape of your uh, mesh and because everything is in good topology so basically you have a lot of control to 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 really doing some unique props that uh, for a scene and uh, another very common usage uh, stuff that I prefer personally do is using a ray modifier to getting some of stuff going on here. So we can basically just change this to um, to two. So I can change this one back to uh, zero. So basically I'm having some some replication going on here, I even change to one. So I can just continue adding some uh, line of this. And when you're having a a a light coming here, the shadow is going to casting some really cool patterns going on here. Uh, this is just a one way to using the array modifier and you certainly can stack more of these. You can adding another array modifier to going this way, right? So you can stack them up and then quickly having a, you know, shape or patterns built. Well, the rest of these are just your imagination and your practice, but for this uh, particular tutorials. I just gonna show you how to do this sh simple shape uh, and to do some practice with it. Real quick, sorry about that, guys. I, earlier, I forgot to adding the loop cut to fix this triangle. So you basically just need to add a loop cut right here. Your topology will be perfectly fixed. All right. Uh, if you enjoyed this simple case study, please making sure you hit likes and uh, subscribe my channel. And I have more of these simple modeling practice. Uh, to help you to understanding topology and uh, fixing shapes. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.